Hey, Dave. Hi, Jen. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for coming in and joining us. This is kind of a fun um, venue that we've been forced into, but we're enjoying it, really. So um, anyway, um, welcome. Dave, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and um, what inspires you to create the artwork that you create? I know that it's challenging right now because we're all at home, so I don't know how this shutdown and pandemic is affecting your creative process, but we have been asking all of our artists that question. Some are saying that it's helpful because it's giving them an opportunity to spend more quiet time, uh, creative time, and others are blocked because their minds are elsewhere. So I know that's, that's a lot of uh, information we're asking <laughs> straight up, but um, that's kind of what our folks out there in, um, the art world are interested in hearing about from our Casco Bay artisans. So I'm going to let you kind of expand on that. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> um, I'm grateful that I um, that my art is um, my uh, my second job, and that I am still gainfully gainfully employed. And so I teach virtually uh, most every day, um, and um, so thankfully. Uh, my mortgage, my electric bill, my water bill, and everything else uh, isn't being paid through the sale of my art. So I feel, I, I feel very grateful for that because it would be very stressful if I was the full-time artist. Um, with that being said, uh, the artistic process has definitely been um, impacted by this. Uh, I felt very unmotivated. Um, you know, presently, I would say I've uh, I've gained a little bit of spirit. I had a commission that I uh, from a friend. I had to design a logo, and I just finished that, and so that felt nice to cross that off. I have a I'm designing um, the Long Island Lobster Boat Race T-shirt this year, so I've been um, you know playing around with some ideas there. I've been playing around with painting because um, I just love to paint, but I never really get a chance. Um, and, and yeah, to be honest, I was like kind of just not terrible. I, I feel like there's a little bit of me that's getting excited again, but I, I, I really needed to take a break. <clears throat> it was just uh, too much going on, so. Well, hopefully, you know, us talking um, helps because um, just knowing that there are people out there that want to hear from you that there are art lovers out there from all over the world that um, have come into Casco Bay Artisans and walked out with a Dave Connor. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and uh, so hopefully that, you know, is, can help with um, the inspiration. It's, it's hard. It's a, it's a dark time. Uh, but with art, there always appears to be, you know, there's always light uh, if you can get there. Um, it's sort of the, um, it's the great equalizer uh, in many ways. No one can take away what you're look, you know, what your eyes see and what your heart feels when your eyes are looking at it. So it's, it, it's nice and, and I'm proud of my artisans um, on so many levels. Uh, but through this period of time, I've noticed doing these interviews, just how committed you guys are uh, to uh, your craft and taking a break is okay. Um, I, you know, I was, uh, when, I, when I first met you years ago, Jen, I, um, I didn't expect that I would find myself in your gallery and then uh, have found myself there for as long as I have. I know that running a gallery is, uh, has a, a slew of challenges. Um, and um, so I'm, <clears throat> I am great, incredibly grateful to, uh, to continue to be shown by you. Um, it's, a, it's a, a real honor. Um, and so I, I'm very appreciative. Um, yeah, art is a wonderful thing. You know, I, um, I get to teach it. Um, and I, you know, I teach wood, wood shop as well, but art primarily. And um, I've used it a lot in uh, um, helping my 
my students with, I think, their mental health to uh, introspection um, and um, how, you know, sort of we can heal with art. And so that has been very satisfying. Um, even though my own uh, production levels have sort of dropped a bit, I still get um, satisfaction in working with kids and, and um, watching them create cool art in the midst of this mess. Oh, that's been a lot of fun. That's lovely. I, I, I do really, we, as you know, we really love to support young art in the gallery. So it's, it's important. And we do have quite a few, um, our teachers, high school, university, um, adjunct, we continuing education. We really, we really love to support um, that and um, the artists that we have in there. We're grateful that they carry on with education in that way. Um, I would love to ask you a couple questions about the process because I'm looking at one of my faves in the back there, the old man of the sea, and um, maybe you can kind of hold up um, you know, a couple of them um, and kind of speak to how you do this. Uh, I say this to you all the time, uh, but eventually I'll be taking your class because I know that you, <laughs> I know that you offer classes yeah. and I absolutely love this process and I just would love to uh, learn it um, a lot more than just, you know, putting my, my layman's hand to it. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Let me, uh, let me grab one of my uh, smaller ones that I um, this one, uh, this one I did when I went to um, Haystack uh, last year, about this time. It was uh, bitterly cold. Um, I had been um, accepted into... Can you straighten it out a little? So I had been can... accepted into... Um, yeah, sure. So this is, um, let's see, these were um, playing cards that uh, my mentor at the time had been accepted into um, uh, um, a master apprenticeship program through Main, uh, Main Crafts. And my, apprentice, uh, my master is a guy named David Weiss. Um, he's a local, uh, David Weiss, David Wolf, sorry. Um, he's a local printmaker in Portland. And um, he was offering a class in, uh, at Haystack that I took. And so I created these little wood carvings. I did a set. These are two of the four that I did. And then um, with these, I added um, some watercolor to them just to kind of brighten them up. And I've really been enjoying doing multicolor work. So it's, which usually involves multiple plates that you have to carve. Um, I was getting sort of tired of the black and white and, um, just you can do a lot more adding other colors. It's been really satisfying. I mean, just like any artist, I, I think one of the important things is to continue to keep it fresh or else it can fairly easily stagnate. And I try and, uh, you know, I do art not just for the money. The money is um, sort of a bonus. And, um, but really it's just for the joy of it. Um, and I'm not saying that <laughs> I don't like getting paid because that's wonderful too. Um, but I really just like experimenting with a craft. And so, yeah, these were like small wood blocks. So carving in different mediums is one way to keep it fresh. I'm carving different sizes, different colors, um, a variety of things. You know, it's such a tactile craft. I was a woodworker for a really long time and I just really love um, manipulating the material. I think that's one of the most satisfying parts. And you know, the kids that I teach in class really um, take the printmaking. There's something magical about it each time, you know, because it's, it's sort of a two-part process. You know, you're carving the block and then you're inking it. And then when you finally get to the actual printing, um, it's just a, sort of a bit of magic in that you're never really sure how it's going to turn out, even if you printed the print more than already. Um, consecutive prints are sometimes better or if you can, and um, really just looking for ways to sort of push the boundaries a little more larger doing um, uh, just stepping away from things that I've done and just trying to keep it entertaining and, and fun. 
So that's uh, that's a little bit about the process. You know, can can we see another couple of of examples of what you're? <clears throat> um, here is uh, I. Uh, I uh, have a house out on Long Island, and this is one of the um, uh, I, more iconic places that used to exist out there that sadly doesn't. Yeah. Spa. So there's many people in the Portland area that have strong memories of this place. Um, this is a uh, two color print as well, um, black and red, and then the white is obviously just the background. So you really get a much more vibrant, um, sort of expressive print when you can add extra colors in. Um, and it's just kind of fun from my end. Um, I'll show you one of my more popular ones, Jim, that um, I think you carry at the gallery. My aunt was doing a, uh, uh, putting together a historical um, uh, exhibit for my family out on Long Island. And so she wanted me to do a um, something that sort of uh, just spoke about island life, and so I did the wharf jump. It's probably one of my more popular prints. Um, I was really, really satisfied. This is one of those ones. Some, some prints take forever. They just take hours, and um, and they may be adequate. Um, this one went actually pretty quick, and it was really one of my most satisfying ones that I've done. Um, it always reminds me of my childhood, only different island peaks. Yeah, sure. Well, I tried to make it universal enough so people could right. imagine whatever dock it was that was important to them. Um, this one's pretty special to me as well. This is uh, this is my first multicolor wood block. Um, this is five different blocks. Um, it was a lot of work to put together, and and then I had the benefit of being able to uh, paint a mural of it on um, India Street, about uh, halfway up on the corner of Federal Street. So. That was pretty special too. Um, and it's uh, one of my favorite prints. Um, I actually haven't sold any yet, but um, it's okay. It just uh, really was important to me. I'm not very political, but um, this sort of uh, was intended to show what Portland used to be and then kind of what it's becoming. And so it was like my minor political statement of saying, you know, slow down, so. I love them. So many of them remind me of my childhood. Um, they're just, they're so well done, Dave. They really are. They're a lot of fun. Here's, uh, here's the one that you, uh, you carry as well. This yeah. is one of my uh, more satisfying ones. Um, I wanted to play with texture. So I just did the whole thing sort of in cross hatching um, with a tiny little gouge tool and then carved the edges and um, it was really satisfying to pull my first print and see that um, uh, it looked like I hoped it, <laughs> it was going to look. Um, yeah, that's probably one of my nicest pieces that I've done, um, so. Really beautiful. Um, not just for myself, but I know I'm gonna have other parties that are interested. So when you decide, you know, when, we're done with this shutdown and you have your class schedule, please let us, let me know and I'll, I'll put it out online, you know, that you're yeah. going to be offering another class and where it's going to be and all that. Yeah, well, as you can see, sort of like, this is my, um, my studio in here. Um, I've got a little wood stove, although it's getting warmer. And then um, I've got um, some cool panels I painted on the ceiling. Um, it's a fun space. It's, uh, you know, primitive chic. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, something along those lines. It's nice. It's not, you know, there aren't too many spiders and stuff. So um. it's your, <laughs> most yeah, important. Fine. <clears throat> Thanks Dave. I mean, I, I really think yeah. we learned an awful lot about, um, you know, about what you do and your process and, um, your feelings towards our great, you know, wonderful Casco Bay and, and uh, Portland and Maine. And we'll all be back at it again really soon. So you better get to work because I'm going to, I'm intending on selling quite a few of these like I always do. <laughs> <laughs> and with that said, my dear, thank you very much for um, the kind things you said about our gallery and for always giving me wonderful work. It's uh, it makes my job so much easier when I know I can count on my artists to just deliver time and time again. So I appreciate it. Thank you, Jen, for reaching out to me. Uh, it was a lot of fun.
We'll see you soon, Dave. Hopefully in person. Okay. Great. Take care. See ya. Bye-bye.